Hi again, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. So this was a busy week for Excel Technologies with headlines dominated by the purchasing of a new 25,000 square foot standalone multi-level building to be their Irish and possibly EU headquarters <coughs> tax haven. While this building acquisition reflects the growth the company's operations has been experiencing just the day before Excel had updated their convertible note offering and basically it has become a lot more attractive for investors. So with this video, I want to look particularly at the new note offering and what I think it may mean for Excel stocks longer term. So let's get into it. So to start with the announcement regarding the share buyback in a nutshell, what has happened is Excel has become more generous with the offering instead of exchanging 25 Excel shares for a $25 face value note that matures in 2029, the offer has now been changed to 20 shares for the same $25 Excel note. Excel has not changed anything in terms of the 6% interest payments or the 24th of February record date. It is purely a more generous offer because less shares have to be sacrificed in order to obtain the note. Excel is still capping the offer at 100 million shares but by changing this offer, they have decided to allow for up to an extra $125 million of debt on their books, an increase of $25 million based on the initial offering details. So what does this mean for shareholders? Well, if you are looking to take advantage of the note offering, it is great news as it ultimately means a better premium will be achieved. Mathematically, the value of the note is still the same. You receive the same 6% annual coupon and the $25 face value payment in 2029. This figure, when discounted to take into effect the time value for money over the life of the note, would yield a $31.63 return over the life of the note. If you want to better understand how I have discounted these note values, look at the original video I did on the Excel note about a fortnight ago. I will link it in the video description. So while the discounted value of the cash flows has changed, the premium made on the note is now far better. Based on Friday's share price, which is arguably quite a good time to buy an exchange for the note following the 11 cent drop in the stock price, the new note cost based on 66 cents per share is now only $13.20, as opposed to the $16.50 under the original deal. Based on the previously looked at discounted cash flows, this means the new offering is bringing about a discounted premium of $18.43 per note held or a 139.6% gain over the life of the note as opposed to the $15.13 or 91.7% return on the original deal. The new note deal gives shareholders an average annual return of 19.95% as opposed to 13.1% on the previous deal, which is very impressive if you have secured the stock based on Friday's closing price. But you have to remember the bulk of that return is occurring in the final year. So this leaves the question, why has Excel changed the deal? What I say here is pure speculation, but some reasons why I think the deal may have changed include perhaps first and foremost, early indications of shareholders taking up the buyback were lower than Excel had been expecting. I think the reason for this is basically because Excel seems to have a high retail investor base, which means it is quite fragmented and generally retail investors don't like things to be too complex. So for an investor to have to arrange through their brokerage to exchange stock for notes, this could be off-putting. This high retail base may be further reluctant to take advantage of the deal because of the speculation of a Wall Street bets led rally for the stock to run up to $50, making holders hopeful of 50xing their money as opposed to doubling it over a seven year horizon. Also on a simpler level, there is an expectation that the stock could improve significantly because following the buyback as net assets, including the new Irish tax haven, HQ would now be divided among less shares, as well as the general hot prospect status that many commentators put on Excel as potential as a business at the moment. Perhaps this note deal just seems a bit too vanilla for shareholders. The next reason I can think of that may be putting off people from taking up the deal is the current mood of the market. We are already seeing a rising inflation and are expected to see interest rates start to rise to combat this. What this means is that perhaps the value of the note is going to get seriously eroded through all of this. I mean, I remember a little while ago, I was receiving as much as 6% interest on my savings account when I was saving to buy my first home about eight years ago. That said, while rates are expected to rise, generally I don't think they are going to go much higher than they were just prior to the pandemic, at least for the foreseeable future. The other reason why Excel may have changed the deal, and this again has to do a lot with the reluctance of shareholders to convert to the note, is faith in Excel to honour the note. Basically, will the company be around in seven years time? 
It is no secret that in recent years, Excella has had a crippling debt problem. It does seem like much of this has been tidied up through a convertible note deal they have gone into with B-Riley Capital, but the woes that have stemmed from Excella's debt have been a continued sore point for those in the stock. Excella has market leading capacities and seems to only be scratching the surface of what has been called a $200 billion annual market. This alone makes me believe that the company is likely to survive the horizon of these notes. In the unexpected event that the company is to go under, I'm sure that there will be some sort of buyer of their intellectual property and businesses. However, this would be bad news for note holders as these are unsecured and therefore low priority in a liquidation of the company, meaning they may not be honored at all. As happened when a similar note offering collapsed with the airline Virgin Australia about two years ago. But like I said, all of this is speculation. And my honest thoughts are that Excel will still be around in seven years time, as I believe their services are actually becoming even more relevant. So on to some final thoughts. I actually think given the dip in the stock price on Friday and this new upgraded offering, this makes for quite a good offering from the company. And that's of course you're chasing a moonshot. I personally have been accruing the stock during its dive over the past 12 months and mulling over what to do with the note offering since it's come about. Presently, I'm thinking of converting about half of my holding into the notes as the current premium would cover any potential losses from holding the remaining Excel stock for longer. I still believe there is a brighter future for Excel technology stock and therefore want to remain invested in the company for the longer term and not just be a holder of debt. So by doing it this way, I've hedged my bets on the company and will hopefully be able to get some smoother sailing from part of my investment in the company. Not that this is investing advice, this is just what I plan to do. Anyway, what do you guys think about Excel Technologies upgrade note offering? Is it a sign that they are desperate to buy back more stock? Do you think it is worth taking advantage of? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time everyone, may the markets trade in your favor. Cheers.